Now let us learn how the particles are moving. To find, let us do an activity. Activity 1. Take an unlightened incense stick. If you want to smell it, you need to move close to it. Now light it and place in corner of your class. You can find the difference. You can smell the incense even from distance. Activity 2. Take two different beakers filled with water. Add a drop of blue or red ink along the sides of the first beaker. Add a drop of honey, the second beaker. Leave them undisturbed. Now you can observe the difference between the two beakers after adding ink and honey. In the first beaker, which is added with ink, is evenly distributed in less time compared to honey. Activity 3 Take a crystal of copper sulphate or potassium permanganate and put into a glass of hot water. Take another crystal and put into cold water. Do not stir the solution. Let the crystal settle at the bottom. Now can you observe any change in crystal in the glass? Yes, the rate of mixing of crystal into water is differing from one glass to another. Here, the particles of matter are moving continuously which is called as kinetic energy. As temperature increases, particles move faster so mixing of crystal is faster in warm water. Mixing of crystals is slow in cold water. Intermixing of two different particles of matter on their own is called as diffusion. Don't you think that why mixing is faster in warm water? Because the particles attract with each other. The particles are held together with maximum force. Now let us learn why it happens. Activity 1 Now let us take an iron nail, a piece of chalk and a rubber band. Now let's try to break them by hammering, cutting and stretching. Do you think which particles are held together with maximum force? Activity 2 Open a water tap and try to break the stream. Can you cut the stream? No, we cannot. But how does the stream remain together? Because the particles of matter have maximum force acting between them. So, the force kept the stream to remain together. The strength of force of attraction is different from one matter to another.